We're very much empowered. This, this world is made up of men and women, yet men and women are so divided today in ways that I can't even begin to articulate with the English language. It's beyond my level of speaking. My ability to speak, to articulate on an energetic level, something that's been severed between us. And it's painful for me at times because I can feel what other humans cannot feel. And I share how I feel with other humans and they call it schizophrenic. They call it paranoia. They call it whatever name they can come up with that makes sense to them as to why they feel nothing. No compassion, nothing in the heart. No, no sense of loss when we see this fall of man and woman. An individual shift in consciousness. I look at woman today. The earth woman. And I see the ways that she is attacked. I see the ways that she is manipulated. I feel the ways at times that her body has been designed by these beings, these controllers that are very interested in her biology and the nature of her offspring, her reproductive gifts and abilities. And I have vowed, whether in this life or another life, to defend Earth Woman from these dark forces that want to tear us apart, that want to make women and men apathetic to how they're, they're dehumanized on television, treated as sex objects, and the alien propaganda that, that is in the Olympics, that is in Hollywood, that is in these commercials. There was a commercial I saw yesterday. It's just shocking. It's just constant revalidation of everything that I've been saying about how the human species is under a coordinated attack. It's a Time Warner commercial where a, where, a, where a redhead in a red dress with red lipstick, lots of red here, is outside and the song is, rain drops keep falling on my head. And it's, it's fucking raining blood. Oh, it, it's fucking raining blood. On a woman who sticks her tongue out. Sorry, don't want to get too, uh, I'm just trying to paint the picture in the mind's eye. Just, uh, and just the things came out. I mean, and, and there were shots where uh, the camera angle would go over here and a bunch of blood would just go push, like into some office building, you know, like, like carry over from the wind and just a bunch of blood hit a woman in the face. It's just like, ah. She didn't look too happy. While the girl outside, she's becoming a vampire. What the hell does that have to do with cable subscriptions? Well, Time Warner, all seeing eye. Olympics, all seeing eye. Olympic symbolism, death of man and birth of the Nephilim. I'm not fucking around. These people are showing you something in these movies, in these commercials, and in these mass rituals like the Olympics. You don't really think that's about the games. If you're watching this video, you don't. You understand the symbolism, and they want a bunch of people focused on these symbols in the millions and millions and millions in China, Russia, United States, London, all across the world, the Middle East, Africa, all looking at the Olympics. There is great power in that. Dark power, black magic. That's what the Olympics is. Black satanic magic. Burning torsos, burning heads on sticks. Oh, this is normal. It's always been this way. The individual shift in consciousness is that, is that part of you that recognizes this evil and doesn't have to, to get an okay from your mate or, or your mother or your father or others that say, we're really proud of you that you are ascending as a soul. Because they don't have the sight to see what we see, which you see and I see. But we see it and we're pinching ourselves and at times we cry and at times we laugh and go, why are we here? How long has this been going on? How long has this been going on? And has it happened before? You know, they say that four to five civilizations have already existed on the earth and have been wiped away by some kind of a flood according to geologic records. And there's different geologic records depending on who you trust and where you're looking. 
Oh, oh, the United States, it's, we've only been a country for a couple hundred years, but yet we have written the history of the whole world, and people look at what, what our history, oh, oh, intellectuals have said about oh, everything and where we came from, and they become God to them. That's not a shift in consciousness. That's not really being an intellectual. It's being another mind slave. Being conscious. leads you to the truth. Being conscious means you can trust yourself and your life experiences. Being conscious means that truth that you are waking up to leads you to the ancient world where you see what was said before, what the ancients said about this, this world, about where we come from, why we were brought here. What is the true nature of man or the soul, the soul that is in us? I met someone over the weekend briefly. We had a conversation about things I shared with this person. Some of my views, this person does not believe we have a soul. This person's also very, very interested in zombie apocalypse propaganda. Are you surprised? I speak to lots of people on this planet. Sometimes I don't know why my life is the way that it is and there's things that I don't like in my life, things that are very, very uncomfortable, but yet I have spoken to millions and millions of people. Collectively, over the course of all the videos that I've done, including Google Video, which at one point used to keep a hit counter for how many people watched your videos. They don't do that anymore. But there was a day before YouTube. I feel much gratitude to the higher forces that led me to something called Access Television. And if you haven't gone to your local Access TV center, in your own community, please do so. I would like to work with you to air this show. I just have to clean up some of the profanity, but I feel like speaking freely. But there are ways we can help others see the true light, even though our world appears to be clouded with darkness and is awaiting the return, at least if there's any truth to what the elite believe. A new dark age, a new dark system, a new dark being that wants to rule over the earth. Whether or not you believe in that, or you're concerned about another war with another country, or the clampdown, dissidents being rounded up, shot, raped, whatever, tortured, it's darkness, it's evil, it's not promoting life. It's death promoting, it's not life promoting, and we need to promote life. That is the light, that is the truth. And we can do that outside our religion, but you can bring your religion, if you do see the light in the Bible, to this table, and we can all work together like a family. We have these powers, we can reach people, we can get on Access TV, but going back to that point, that has been a gift in my life because through mediums like that, if you are to believe that you can do it, you can reach people that never get on the internet. That's the beauty of that type of a medium while it still exists. And I'm telling you, Time Warner, that same, that same conglomerate showing commercials about women being bathed in blood, just purely satanic. They want to get rid of our message on Access TV. They want to get rid of Access TV as a whole and just in the contract. Same thing with Verizon. These multinational corporations, they don't want Access TV out there. So there are ways you can bring consciousness to your community with the technology that is around us. Now, I want you to think about this. Part of this shift in consciousness is about having a power inside. And I'm still working on cultivating this power. And sometimes uh, the power in me is strong. The force is strong in me. And sometimes I forget the truths and the propaganda gets to me and the dark influences affect me and I forget the power and the force but it relates to we are more powerful than the body, than the feelings that we're feeling in the body. And you need to speak your truth without being concerned about what other people think about you and 
to do what you're doing with, with, with the faith that it's serving a higher good without being paid to do it, without people caring about you as you do it, without people validating to you that you're a good man, you're a good woman. When you live in a world this dark, full of so many mind control victims, and you're doing good, there are people that will come out of the woodwork, whether it's YouTube comments, or it's in the streets, it's at the bar where you're trying to talk to someone about something you've learned, and they just attack you left and right. You're, you don't know what you're talking about, they'll say. Oh, oh, that's because you're this color of skin. This must mean that you're with some sort of a religious paradigm or religious paradigm. Uh, I've gotten some of that. Some of you get it from time and time again. Or someone might want to make you feel guilty because you're white. You're white. You just don't understand how us blacks and, and Mexicans go through life. You're, you're evil. You're El Diablo. Also paradigm. You're trying to share something with someone and they're just trying to hit you because they, they don't understand what you're talking about. And sometimes the light is so blinding the truth to people that there's a darker part of them that's just showing, throwing poop at you, seeing if it sticks. You just got to learn how to bob and weave and go, I have nothing to say to that. There's power and I have nothing to say to that. I don't have to respond to you, demon. I don't have to argue with you, devil, even though you don't want to be calling them. That the energy that is attacking you because you are good is dark. And whether they are knowing of this or aware of this or un unaware of this, it doesn't matter. This truth I must present to you. You must be stronger than what people are throwing at you, what your parents are saying to you. Now, this is a huge thing. And I just want to touch on this briefly. If you, if you have some sort of a blockage with your parents, you need to just cut that umbilical cord completely. It doesn't mean that you're never going to come to Christmas dinner. It doesn't mean that in some cases you might need to do that though. That's up for you to decide. But you are not here to be someone else's slave. I mean, it, it, it becomes so much a part of what we are, though. We come into this world. These people feed us. Okay, they, they wipe our butt. And then they push us in the public educational school system. And so we get to have combined programming. It's a party. Oh, yeah, it's just coming in all different directions. And by the time we're 17, 18, 19, and we've got hormones, and we want to start doing it and, and, you know, having romance and love and things, we're all fucked up inside. <laughs> and, oh, oh. Oh, then there's drugs. Oh, yeah. 